This year we traveled to Dallas, Texas to participate in the Adidas Super 64 National Championship. But I'm alive from the dust until dawn, yeah. I'll survive, cause I got sweet victory. Nobody can take it from me, sweet victory. Cause I got sweet victory, yeah. While we were there, we decided to make our trip missional. So we partnered with the Salvation Army to serve dinner at the Carpe Kali shelter, along with doing a basketball clinic for children. Today was pretty cool. Like, feeding the homeless is just a good experience. So my heart felt, like, big and so. At the Salvation Army, um, I learned that just a simple thing like a letter can make somebody's day ten times more better than it already was. And that made me like really happy to know that I made somebody else happy. So the next game, I was excited. So my mindset was like, I'm playing for her. I'm doing this for her. I'm going to win this for her. We also got to work with the Boys and Girls Club, um, teaching the kids about basketball and putting on a camp for the day. Um, the things that, that our kids got out of that was just absolutely amazing. Um, spending the time for them to sit down and write letters uh, for someone that might touch their heart and then to watch those kids give those letters to those mothers of the two kids that came in for food and to watch those parents read those um, was such, it was so touching and, and just a great opportunity for us there. I believe that these acts of service taught our young athletes and coaches that we all have a platform in which we can affect change. The simple act of handing out a plate of food or teaching a kid how to dribble a basketball set our souls on fire and bonded each one of us closer together. I would like to thank the Salvation Army for these opportunities to serve as I believe it did bond us closer together as a team.